Hi, this is Ashley with Court Reserve. This is the third video in the series of videos to help get your member or player portal all designed. So we've already gone over in the video one on the general tab. In video two, we taught you how to do your homepage. And now video three, we're going to continue on. The third tab called rows is just what you have created on your homepage. You can see all available rows are here. You can edit, but we've also made it easy for you to keep up and create rows here as well. Don't forget, anytime you create a row, if you want it to show up on your homepage, you will need to click the green plus add button. Now, let's talk about page builder. Page builder are things that you may want to have at the top of your player portal, like a training team page or a blog page or anything else that you would like to have. So let me show you on the player portal what this looks like. So you can see training team here, and then I have a subtext of join the team. And then I also have blog, and I have two blogs, a training blog and a nutrition blog. So let's jump back over to our website settings and see how to set this up. The biggest idea is to think about your header links and footer links. See, your header links are going to be these things. If I show you back on the, these are the header links up here at the top. So the training team, the blog, and the contact the team. These are header links. And if we scroll down to the bottom, these are footer links. You can see links here, and here's a footer link. So you need to think about what those pages need to be. So if we go over to the page builder, these are the pages, and these are the URLs that are linked to these different pages. And each of these pages will fit either on the header link or the footer link. Pages are built up of different rows. So you will build the rows and those rows become a page and then pages belong on a header link or a footer link. So let's break this down. I want to start off by looking at the summer camp page. So I've gone in and created a summer camp page and it has two rows. It has a content registration row and a content summer camp photo row. So I've built the rows and then I've added them to my summer camp page. So let's preview this page. So we've got our first row, which is the registration row, and then this is the photo row. So let's take a look at what this looks like. So our content registration row, if we click edit, this is simple again, just to create the content. You decide who gets to see this content, whether it's logged in users or all users. You do the background color. Again, you can use your body background or use a different color. And then it's your text, your photos, whatever that looks like. Okay, so now if we go back over, we have our two rows and our next one is just those summer camp rows. You can sort these rows and then this is the URL for this page. And you're going to copy this URL and then you're going to take it over and it's either going to be on a header link or a footer link. So if you want the summer camp to be on the header, then you'll just simply create the link you'll actually come in and do your link display. So let's call it summer camp. This was where you'll paste your URL and then you'll actually display to who you want to see. Here are the links or the pages, of course, that are gonna be on our header link. And you can see that you can go in and create a sublink. So both the training team and the blog have sublinks and we've already created a couple of those. So this is easy. We've got our training blog with our URL here and then our nutrition blog and this is that URL here. URL of course is that web page um, that you want to link to. So if you have multiple locations, you may want to have a um, link called locations and have each of your locations um, on a map or on your website um, featured here under the URL. So this is easy. You would just go in and it's simply the same thing. You're just creating a sublink for the page. And so now we've got our blog. We've got this is the actual page link. And then these are the two sublinks. And now if we come over to the member portal, you'll see the blog. You can go to the training blog or the nutrition blog. And of course, we have join the team under training team as well. The next thing I want to mention is this news tab right here. Now news is a great feature in Court Reserve because you can really keep your players up to date. News is a row here and we have actually added this row to our homepage by of course adding the green 
and when you come in you can actually define how many of the top news stories will populate and you can create news categories as well so if we pop over to our news tab you can go in and create different categories of your news so we've created adult player news junior players and summer camp news and so then if you want to manage your news you just click here and you can go in and start creating your articles so again we've created a couple of news articles you can see that they were created on certain dates you can even have an active period which means when you create those articles you can have them go away after a period of time and then they're categorized as well into the different categories now if we pop over to our player portal we have our news at the top and we can actually go in and see that this is a great way to keep your members up to date with things going on a lot of times we're sending out emails and people really just get so many emails this is a great way to keep your players up to date with things happening at your organization and they can even go back and look at categories of your news